here we are at the finish of Unbound Gravel. Here's the bike of Valtteri Bottas. Yes, that Valtteri Bottas. the finish of Unbound Gravel 2024. Yep. Mr. Valtteri Bozas, how was that for you out there, sir? That was enough. <laughs> I wouldn't want to do 200. So. 100 is plenty, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. That's, that's good. Good distance, but actually, no peanut butter, which has been the talking point. Nothing. So. Yeah. Did you bring a stick with you? I did. Yeah, for nothing. I got two sticks and I left them both at the hotel room. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it goes. Yeah, it was, it was good. Yeah, fun. What's, uh, what's on up next for you? Next is a bit of car racing. Yes. This coming weekend in Montreal. All right. Um, but yeah, the very next is probably another beer. All right. Enjoy it, sir. One, one more question. You have a, a new group set on your bicycle. Can you, can you speak to us about this? Uh, I can't. Okay. It's, um, it's a new group set. And uh, it's classified. All right. Good ride with you. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks, man. So Valtteri can't talk about the SRAM group, but I can, or at least I can share what can be surmised from looking at this unreleased 13 speed group that is labeled Red Explorer. The short of it is, this has got to be a 13 speed forthcoming transmission gravel group featuring the UDH frame interface that allows for a rock solid connection between the wireless derailleur and the frame. We have already seen some 12-speed transmission systems on gravel bikes, but those feature mount bike derailleurs for what is known as a mullet setup. Road business up front at the crankset with a mountain bike party at the rear. At Unbound Gravel, SRAM sponsored athletes were on a mix of 12-speed mullet transmissions and 13-speed Explorer drivetrains. The levers on Valtteri's bike appear to be the recently released SRAM red levers from the 12-speed road group, which evidently worked just fine for 13-speed too. The single ring, I presume, is 13 speed specific, mounted with a quark power meter. Valtteri's Canyon Grail is, of course, the latest and greatest. In fact, it's the UDH frame that was raced to the win here last year in the 200 by Carolyn Schiff and in the 100 by none other than Tiffany Cromwell, the Canyon SRAM World Tour rider who also happens to be Valtteri's better half. SRAM already had the edge on Shimano for one by gravel groups in terms of variety and options and integrated power meters. That's meters plural, not just meter singular. And now it's pulled ahead with 13 cogs, which puts it in line with Campanilo Ekar. The Campy group has excellent braking, but is a mechanical group. Shimano just launched its 12 speed electronic gravel group, GRX DI2, but that is two by only, and there's no power meter. So why do we care about 13 speed gravel transmission? It means a wider range with smaller steps in between each cog and that rock solid performance that should be largely impervious to rocks smacking the derailleur or even crashes affecting the shift performance just because there is no derailleur hanger to bend. I will continue to badger SRAM to get my paws on a test group as soon as possible and we'll report back on it then. So it's important to bring supplies. Essentials. What, yeah. Essentials, yes. Yeah. The essential case with the essential case. Because my partner is still racing, so I have no food or beer, so <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs>